welcome to two projects in this video we are going to explain the project air quality index forecasting via genetic algorithm based improved extreme learning machine introduction so air pollution increased by rapid industrialization and urbanization poses a grave threat to public health and the environment this project aims to develop a robust air quality prediction system focusing on key pollutants like pm 2.5 and pm 10 accurate air quality forecasting is essential in combating the rising rates of premature deaths attributed to pollution so this project addresses the urgent need for reliable prediction models to safeguard human health and mitigate environmental degradation stakeholders including policy makers and public health officials stand to benefit from precise air quality predictions such forecasts inform decision making processes for pollution control measures and public health interventions so machine learning particularly extreme learning machine that is elm offers promise in forecasting air quality however challenges persist in parameter selection so by integrating genetic algorithm with extreme learning machine that is gaklm this project aims to enhance prediction accuracy and overcome the limitations of traditional methods so this innovative approach holds promise in providing actionable insights for environmental protection and public health management object of the project so as i mentioned earlier The project aims to create a system capable of accurately predicting air quality levels by leveraging the GAKLM approach which integrates genetic algorithm with improved extreme learning machine the goal is to enhance the precision of air quality predictions this is crucial for mitigating the adverse impacts of pollution on both human health and the environment Traditional machine learning algorithms often struggle with accurately predicting air quality levels due to the complexity of the data and inaccuracies in training weights. So by optimizing the number of hidden nodes and layers within the extreme learning machine using genetic algorithms, the project seeks to improve prediction accuracy and reduce error rates such as MSC and RMSC. So this optimization process aims to refine the model's learning ability ultimately leading to more precise forecasts. And the proposed GAKLM algorithm will be compared against the traditional support vector machine algorithm. The comparison will focus on demonstrating the superiority of GAKLM particularly in predicting air quality levels with a specific emphasis on the PM 2.5 pollutant. So the project aims to assess their effectiveness in accurately forecasting air quality levels thereby providing valuable insights for air quality management and environmental protection efforts Requirements needed to execute this project are software requirements software needed is anaconda primary language used is python front end framework used is flask back end framework used is jupyter notebook Database used is SQL Lite three, and front end technologies used are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap four. Hardware requirements needed are operating system of Windows, processor of i five and above, RAM of eight GB and above, and hard disk of twenty five GB and above. Now we'll discuss the working modules of law of work. So the first step is important required packages. So the initial step involves importing essential Python packages such as NumPy, Pandas, Sklearn, and Keras. These packages provide functionalities for data manipulation, machine learning algorithms, and deep learning models, which are crucial for subsequent steps in the project. The second step is exploring the dataset. So this stage entails understanding the structure and characteristics of the air quality dataset. Exploratory data analysis techniques are employed to examine features, identify patterns and detect potential issues such as missing values. So this exploration guides subsequent data processing steps. The third step is data processing. Here the dataset undergoes pre-processing to address any missing values and normalize the feature values. So missing values are handled through techniques such as imputation, ensuring data completeness. 
and normalization techniques like min max scaling are applied to standardize feature values facilitating better model training and convergence the next step is visualization using seaborn and matplotlib so visualization plays a crucial role in understanding data patterns and relationships these visualizations help in identifying correlations between variables visualizing data distributions and conveying insights to stakeholders effectively the next step is train and test split so here the data set is divided into training and testing subsets to evaluate model performance the training set is used to train the machine learning and deep learning models while the testing set is reserved for evaluating model generalization to unseen data so this step ensures unbiased model evaluation and validation the next one is training and building the model so two models are trained and built in this step gakelm and support vector regression so gakelm integrates genetic algorithm with extreme learning machine to enhance prediction accuracy while svr is a traditional machine learning algorithm in the next step as an extension to the project a bidirectional long short term memory network that is bi lst model is employed for robust and accurate predictions extending beyond traditional methods and as an extension again an interactive front end interface is developed using the flask framework so sql lite database is utilized for user sign up and sign in functionalities ensuring secure access to the application so after signing in users input feature values through the front end which undergo pre processing before being fed into the train models for predictions and the final outcome that is predicted air quality levels is displayed through the front end interface providing users with actionable insights now we'll understand about the algorithms used so the first algorithm built is genetic algorithm with extreme learning machine so ga elm is a hybrid approach that combines the strengths of genetic algorithms and extreme learning machine It aims to address limitations of conventional ELM by optimizing the number of hidden nodes and layers through a genetic algorithm. It works by iteratively evolving a population of potential solutions representing different configurations of hidden nodes and layers. Fitness functions incorporating thresholds, weights and error metrics like RMSC guide the evolution process toward finding the optimal solution. This approach is particularly suited for this project as it enhances ELM's learning ability and prediction accuracy thereby improving air quality forecasting performance. The next one is support vector regressor. So it is a supervised learning algorithm used for regression tasks. It works by finding the optimal hyperplane that maximizes the margin between data points known as support vectors in a high dimensional feature space. SVR is suitable for this project as it can handle non-linear relationships between features and target variables making it effective for predicting air quality levels based on complex interactions among pollutants and environmental factors Now we we'll see the comparison graphs so this is the horizontal bar graph comparing MSA scores of existing SVR proposed GAELM and extension BioLST models So in this graph on x axis i have msa scores and on y axis i have algorithm names msa calculates the average of the square differences between predicted and actual values providing a measure of the overall variance or spread of errors it penalizes larger errors more heavily due to the squaring operation this is rmsa scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have rmsa scores and on y axis i have algorithm names RMSA is the square root of MSC and provides a measure of the standard deviation of prediction errors. It is in the same units as the target variable, making it easier to interpret compared to MSC. And this is MA scores comparison graph. In this graph on x-axis, I have MA scores, and on y-axis, I have algorithm names. MA computes the average of the absolute differences between predicted and actual values. Unlike MSC, it does not square the errors, offering a more straightforward interpretation of prediction accuracy. Execution of the project. To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. So this is the dataset folder in which I have required air quality prediction data. 
this is the train data set and this is test data. So on this train data set, we'll train the machine learning and deep learning models. And test data is for evaluating the model's performance. This is model folder in which I have .hdf5 and numpy files. These files contain algorithm information. These files will be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the train models. This is also a model file. This is static folder. This folder consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap. This is templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc., which represent different pages of the website. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to frontend logic. It includes code and Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database, and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML pages. This is Jupyter source file, which contains a combination of code, graphs, and outputs all in one place. It allows users to write and execute code in individual cells, making it a popular choice for data science. And this is signup.db file. This file is the database file used to store user information. So now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. I'm copying it. Open anaconda prompt. So now use the command cd followed by space and paste the copied path and hit the enter button. So this command is used to change the current directory to the code folders path. Now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py. I'm typing python space app.py and hit the enter button. So this command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address, local host, and port unless configured differently. So now copy the local link provided by the framework. I'm copying it and paste it into any web browser. I prefer Chrome. So after pasting it, hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Flask framework. So here we can see a logon link, click on it. So if you are new users, we have to register first. Fill in all these details and click on sign up button to register. And if we already have an account, we can directly log in by clicking on this link. So as I already have an account, I'm clicking on this link. So here we have to provide a credentials, username and password. And click on sign in button. So it has redirected us to the prediction page. So now we have to fill in all these parameters and click on predict button to get the predictions. So first we'll understand these parameters. The first one is NO that is nitric oxide. It is emitted from vehicles and industry contributes to smoke and respiratory problems. The next one is NH3 that is ammonia. So it is released from agriculture and industry contributes to pollution and acidification. The next one is CO that is carbon monoxide. It is colorless toxic gas from incomplete combustion impairs oxygen transport in blood. This is SO2 that is sulfur dioxide. It is emitted from fossil fuels causes acid rain respiratory issues. This is O3 that is ozone. So it is a ground level pollutant from NOx VOC reaction harms respiratory system, causes environmental damage. The next one is benzene. So it is a carcinogenic VOC from vehicle exhaust industry, cigarette smoke, harmful to health. The next one is toluene. So it is a solvent in industrial products, gasoline, causes neurological and respiratory issues. And the last one is xylene. So it is a industrial solvent found in Vehicle exhaust leads to headaches, dizziness, respiratory problems. So now we'll fill in all these parameters. So nitric oxide would be 17.4. Ammonia would be 19.3. Carbon monoxide would be 29.7. Sulfur dioxide would be 17.4. 
ozone would be 29.07 benzene is 30.7 toluene would be 6.8 xylene is 16.4 now click on predict button so here we can see the result that is air quality index is 133.20 pm so a pm 2.5 reading of 133.20 micrograms per cubic meter suggests unhealthy air quality we'll try again click on home link we'll try giving another set of parameters so this time nitric oxide would be 19.2 ammonia would be 27.8 carbon monoxide is 33.05 sulfur dioxide would be 19.2 ozone would be 52.6 benzene is 20.9 toluene is 2.16 and xylene would be 2.26 now click on predict button so here we can see the result that is air quality index is 66.5 pm so a pm 2.5 reading of 66.54 micrograms per cubic meter suggests unhealthy air quality so now click on log out similarly we can give any set of parameters and can get the air quality predictions so the conclusion here is Air quality prediction plays a crucial role in safeguarding public health and environmental sustainability. Accurate forecasts enable timely implementation of pollution control measures and public health interventions, mitigating the adverse effects of pollution on human health and the ecosystem. The integration of genetic algorithm with extreme learning machine has shown significant promise in enhancing the accuracy of air quality predictions. by optimizing model parameters and refining learning processes gakelm offers a robust solution for addressing the complexities of air pollution forecasting traditional machine learning algorithms while valuable often struggle with intricacies of air quality prediction so through the utilization of gakelm this project has successfully mitigated these challenges leading to more precise forecasts and improved decision making capabilities for environmental management furthermore the extension of the project with the bidirectional long short term memory that is bilst model has yielded even more promising results surpassing both existing svr and gakelm models in terms of predictive accuracy This advancement further strengthens the project's contributions to air quality prediction research. Through the deployment of the BioLST model into a user-friendly Flask framework, this project extends its impact by providing a practical tool. By inputting relevant data into the system, users can efficiently obtain forecasted air quality results, enabling better informed decisions for environmental protection and public health management. and the beneficiaries of this project extend beyond researchers and environmental policy makers to include the general public access to accurate air quality predictions empowers individuals to make informed choices about outdoor activities health precautions and lifestyle adjustments ultimately safeguarding their well-being amidst environmental challenges thank you for watching video For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe